and Kablamo, we are back. Welcome back to the channel. And here we go, guys. Here we go, January 2022. And here we go, NVIDIA. NVIDIA launches the $249, yes, $249. GE Force RTX 3050. This is from TechCrunch.com, guys. The latest breaking news in GPUs, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, they really didn't launch it since I don't think it's going to be available to the end of January. So let's go through this. Look at the graphic here. Look at all those wonderful little graphics cars. Money, 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 baby. Anyway, you can now add another set of NVIDIA-based graphics cards to the graphics cards you probably won't be able to buy anytime soon. As the company today launched the GE Force RTX 3054, get this, desktops, not laptops, but desktops. Surprising, surprising enough on that one. They were pushing laptops for quite a bit there last month. Uh, the 3050s, the 3080 Ti laptops, whatever. They're pushing laptop stuff. I think they're just trying to, trying to chew up inventory, what's on the shelves, and get them out and say, what can we do? Let's put in some 3050s, 3080 Ti, and get rid of this hardware. I don't know. Smart move, right? They got to make money. Oh, uh, let's go through. Keep going, guys. Starting at 249 bucks. Yeah, right. The budget-friendly card, assuming, assuming NVIDIA and its partners can produce enough to keep prices from escalating. Yeah, good point. It's not going to be. That's ridiculous. I can see. I'll be honest. I can see this card, 3050, 3060, at least 500 bucks. Starting 249, come on. Some guy's gonna go in and buy 20 off the bat. You know what I mean? They're not gonna put up with that. They're gonna say we can ask, we can ask at least 500, 600, maybe even higher. Who knows? Just mark the date of this video, January 5th, 2022. And then when these little puppies come out, remember they said they'd be 249, but then go look on your Amazon, your new egg, your your uh, butt buy, your um target, your Walmart. And even eBay, stay away from eBay if you can, because everything's marked up. Uh, but mark, mark my words, you're going to see 500 and up. Come on, if they come out, if they come out. Anyway, let's go on. This feature, this card will feature 8 gigabytes, which is good, of the old GDR6 memory. So which memory, the Hynix or the Samsung? Uh, doesn't say. It'll feature uh, the 8 gigabytes of GDR6 memory and promises to be able to run the latest games, games, oh well, at over 60 frames in a 1440p resolution with ray tracing enabled. Okay, whoop de do. All right, like it's more powerful brethren, so it's gonna run like it's more powerful brethren in the company's 30 series. It will feature third generation Tensor Core to power NVIDIA's DLSS for smart upscaling and AI workloads, as well as second generation RT cores for ray tracing. I don't care about that. I just want to know how is this going to do to mining? How will this work on mining? That is where someone's going to have to get their grubby little hands on one of these cards whenever they come out for the $800 price tag, whatever it's going to be. It's, it's not going to be $249. Give me a break. And someone's got to run it and see what they can uh, get, what kind of hash rate they get on ETH and other coins. But it's funny. This is TechCrunch. And NVIDIA just mentions gamer stuff and all this stuff. It's like, I don't know. I... I'm not, a, I'm not a bright person, but all I know is miners, hobbyist people, professional miners, people like me that just do it for fun. You know, we spend a lot of money on your GPUs. You should tailor your cards and market towards us. We buy one too many GPUs. We just don't buy one GPU for our games. Get that? I don't really play games anymore. Uh, just to me personally, my personal belief... It, I wish I didn't waste so much time in the past playing games. I should have spent time making a better version of myself, educating myself on better topics, uh, growing my wealth, growing my network, and growing my passive income. Uh, that's why I like crypto mining. It's, it's kind of a not a pure passive income because you have to maintain and put some work into it, but it's making money. It's not living money, but it's money that's going to eventually hopefully you know, pay off the equipment. Keep me, uh, keep me, keep the money invested in the coin, and the coin should keep going up as well. So it's also an investment; it's a hobby. You know what I mean? So I think gamers, 
and miners, miners spend more money. And I'm surprised NVIDIA doesn't really focus on the uh, crypto mining customer. I'm really surprised by that. I, I don't know. Anyway, NVIDIA noted that 75% of gamers are still using GTX GPUs, which should make the RTX 3050 a compelling upgrade for many. The 2016 GTX 1050, for example, isn't quite able to run modern games at 60 frames per second anymore. And even the more recent GTX 1650 now often struggles to do so. All right. The cards based on the new chip will launch on January 27th. I mean, that's a whole month. Man. January's a, I don't know, January just seems like a long, a long month. And here's some specs. Uh, whatever, GeForce RTX 3050, blah, 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 step up to the RTX, 9 shader, I don't care about this crap, 8 gigabytes, G6 memory is what I care about, what type of memory I wish I knew, uh, they don't tell you. In addition to these budget chips, NVIDIA also teased an RTX 3090 Ti, which looks, uh, which looks like it will be a monster of a GPU, but, we'll, uh, but they didn't provide any details about it. We'll, we'll know more later as much. So NVIDIA is up to something. They're, in, they're trying to find a thing. I just don't have a clue why they don't focus on the mining community. Uh, for laptop gamers and creators, NVIDIA also launched, uh, also announced today the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU. Here we go. They're pushing the laptop stuff to get that, that I don't know, to get that hardware off the shelf. It offers more performance than a desktop. I don't know. Laptops get hot. I do like laptops. They're, they're, things are pretty solid, most of them. And I don't know, I have two laptops mining GPU and CPU, and they're, 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 a little, they're a little toasty now, and then, but they have been running. They are workhorses, and I don't really have to do much maintenance, maintenance on them at all. Otherwise, clean the bottom, make sure you're getting, you know, they have some nice air blowing over them, and I you know, get the dust off them, stuff like that. Uh, let's see, laptops with this chip will start at 2500 And a more, uh, on a more budget-friendly note, the GeForce RTX 300. 7.0 Ti GPU for laptops will launch on machines that start at $14.99 and offer 70% more performance than 2070 Super laptops at a 1440p resolution. All right, let's keep going. It's a lot about gaming stuff. I don't really give a crap about that. I wish they would have talked more about the memory type and maybe even mentioned some mining stuff. And I'm really surprised that NVIDIA does that. And full disclosure, I do own NVIDIA stock, and I want to see them succeed. Why did I buy NVIDIA stock? I just saw how they're in huge demand with their product, how they're uh, coming out with new ideas. Also, how, get this, members of Congress get to you know do stock buys, and they have to publish it every quarter, their purchases, that becomes public information. Like it or hate it, whatever, don't, you know, you can hate them, but you can play their game too. Find out what they buy. Like uh, the one, I won't say her name, she buys Tesla, she buys options in Tesla, she bought options uh, in uh, NVIDIA, she has Apple, all this stuff. And I always look what um, she's buying, and then they had a public thing on Twitter, but Twitter, you know, got butthurt and took it down, you know, read between the lines there, right? Uh, anyway, so I always follow what these politicians are buying, and I just go out and buy it. I bought NVIDIA, I bought Tesla, and they're up. So that, to me, isn't financial advice, that just seems to me... That's how the world works. You, you, know, you can hate it, you can love it, but why not just follow what they're doing? They have inside information. Go play the game, buy the stocks, and you might do well as well. Or see what they're buying, do your own due diligence, and you, sh you should be good to go. So that's a little side tangent there about NVIDIA. I believe in the company, but I really wish, as a stockholder, they would focus more on crypto miners. I mean, just make a branch, tangent off from your, your base GPUs, your... Um, 16 series, 20 series, I mean, the non-LHR series, branch off from that, make a gaming branch, make a new branch for miners, and then focus on that. My God, dudes, and NVIDIA out in Santa Clara, where I think that's where you're at, do that, and I, you will, profits will go through the roof more if you can, if you can make this up. I know you're having chip problems, uh, getting the stuff. I think uh, your Samsung, your Hynix memory, I don't know what else is out there. But uh, that, I don't know that part of it enough. I know there's always a shortage on that. But I think business-wise, if you break out, the miners have so much money. And they seem to miss gamers play games all day, right? To me, it's like they're just playing games. Like I said, in my personal experience, 
my personal belief is it was a time suck for me. Sure, they were fun now, but I wish I had that time back or focused that time on bettering myself. Whereas miners now, miners are out there doing IT stuff. We're generating revenue. We're generating coins. We're adding to the crypto ecosystem. We're helping uh, the network activity. We're just helping pools. We're helping grow the community like multiple law. You know, what is it? The tide raises all boats. Everyone in mining is working together. They want everyone to succeed. Uh, everyone wants everyone else to do well. They help each other out. They give pros and cons and tips. I just think it's the greatest community. And the businesses need to focus on this community and make cards for them. Say, hey, we're going to come out in February. Dudes, we got this thing that's going to do blammo, 120, 120 hashes on ETH, you know, or Raptorium or whatever. Or whatever you're mining, and we'll have a CPU, and that's a Ryzen. We'll have a, Ryzen will come out. AMD will come out with a special CPU for mining. Who knows? You know what I mean? I, I think that'd be a smart business choice. Say for NVIDIA and AMD for their um, for their GPUs as well. So here we go. We got more news of a potential 3050 coming. The price is obviously bogus. It's not going to be that. That's the teaser. That's the get you hooked. So you're going to be looking for it. And prepare, prepare for sticker shock on Amazon, eBay, Newegg, Butt Buy, Target, Walmart, wherever they come in, uh, if you can get them, if they come out at all. So anyway, just thought I'd throw this article out there, stuff I run across during the day, and I just thought it'd be interesting to put it out there. Right now, it's very hard. I don't see any alerts or news information on 3080s coming out. I have on my Discord, I do have in stock price alerts and in stock alerts let's see if i can bring that up on the old discord pager so over here is the rocco taco crypto mining channel discord right it's 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 new right i'm growing it i'm trying to get stuff out there and if you look at it i have in stock alerts and so what i do i will publish it like the latest stuff today here is a gigabyte what is this gaming pro x uh Eight gigabyte. What is this thing? A gigabyte GVRX 66XT gaming. All right. Here is an Astrock Challenger Pro RX 6600 XT that is out. And this is Newegg, Newegg. This one is a Best Buy. That is a Speedster RX 66 XT. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that one. And we got the old Red Devil. I love the Red Devil. There. Give me some of that Red Devil. And this is at Amazon. I think it's $5.99, which is not a bad price. Uh, for a graphics card that you can get your hands on right now. The only thing I don't like about the Red Devil is that it's just, to me, a bunch of useless LEDs on it. I hate that crap. I just want, you know, stuff, not fluff. Just give me a GPU that works, minimal fans required, just to keep the thing cool. None of this fancy, crappy LED. I don't, I don't care about the bells and whistles. I want it to just to mine, 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 and generate, you know, coins for me. That's all I care about. I'm just, I just, bare bones, Give me, give me the card that works. But this is a good card, $5.99 on Amazon. So if you go to the Discord, there's a link below. You just join it, and you can go in. I have the in-stock alerts. I have eBay price trackers out there with some nice little Matplotlib scatter charts. You can see what stuff it's selling for. Like here's a, what is this, 36 Ti. I put out uh, CSV files. You can see what things are moving for in the eBay space. I do all the cards, like the 30 series, and I think 6600s. And even for some gamers out there, the gaming consoles, just to see what those are trending at. Uh, I even do new egg price tracker here as well. I'll put out their cards uh, in a spreadsheet. Uh, let's see what uh, eBay, new egg, and of course the in stock alerts. And I have the latest videos from the old channel get posted in the Discord as well. Uh, yeah, go check it out. And I'm new to Discord. I've used it for a little bit, but I'm trying to set this up to make it open to everybody and just useful information and there's some finance stuff in here as well uh, that's about it that's all i got anyway that is out there let's go back to let's go back to the article let's see where is it that is not it All right, and that's it. That's the NVIDIA launches the 249G Force Hardware Series 50. That's all I got. I just wanted to put that out there. You guys can just keep your eyes out for this. And like I said, the side tangent there was the Discord does put out new price alerts, new in-stock alerts, 
on stuff that I see that I'm looking for, like the uh, 6600 and 30 series, and you will see those on the Discord pop up. And then if you click on them, you might even just get one. If you if you if you're uh, sort of fast enough, by fast I mean within five or ten minutes of seeing the alert, because people go out there and they, I swear to God, they swap those things out from New Egg and Best Buy, boom, they're gone, sold out. You put in your cart, and if you hesitate, you're gone. You're going to miss out because either the bots get them, the retail bots, or people are just swapping them up because uh, they want they just want graphics cards. They want to be mining. All right, that's all I got, guys. Little video here. Hope this helps. A little inform information information on what's going on in the nvidia world and what they're planning i still wish they would just i wish they would just focus on crypto miners and make a special separate business model for crypto miners they'll make i don't know the business would take off and i'd be happy as a stock owner as well all right go forward to great things i am out of here take care